24 great varieties of Echinacea coneflower. A 2008 introduction that thrives in full sun or dappled shade, Avalanche may well replace the less hardy Shasta daisy in your flower garden. White with a green center, these plants are deer resistant and will grow in rocky soils. This plant has the typical long bloom period, June through August, of the classic coneflower. This Fluoroselect Gold Medal winner takes the guesswork out of garden design. One packet of seeds will yield cheerful blooms that include shades of yellow, white, cream, red, pink, orange, yellow or purple ray flowers with brown disc centers. If you start your seeds indoors after Christmas, you will see late summer blooms on these fast-growing plants. Cheyenne Spirit blooms in July and August. The variable names in the Coneflower's Secret Series hint that this flower is trying to break into the lucrative Valentine's cut flower market. Secret Passion joins eight other secret echinaceas, including S. Glow, S. Desire, and S. Romance, all sporting fully double and lushly petaled blossoms. The flowers are fragrant and fade-resistant, making them valuable additions to your vase. Secret Passion is a good choice for southern gardens. Secret Passion coneflowers bloom throughout the summer. If you are creating a patriotic red, white, and blue garden, vibrant red tomato soup coneflowers will bloom their hearts out throughout the summer, June through August. Pair them with Easy Bachelor's Buttons and any white coneflower variety to complete the display. Plant these in full sun for best color development. Sunrise is one of the Big Sky series E. Paradoxa crossed with E. Purpurea. It has pale yellow flowers with centers that start out green and change to gold. The flowers are 5 inches across and very fragrant. This hybrid blooms throughout the summer. Green Envy is one of the more unusual coneflowers. Its flowers start out completely green, then gradually develop a halo of magenta around the center cone. This variety has a slightly shorter bloom season than other coneflowers, mid to late summer. It is a good choice for very warm climates. Rasmataz is a true double coneflower bred in Holland. Instead of a central cone, each flower has a dome covered with short petals surrounded by a skirt of longer petals. The flowers are bright pink, blooming throughout the summer, June through August. Double Decker was developed from an unusual mutation in Germany. It is a pink coneflower with a unique double layer bloom. In the first year, the plant's blooms resemble traditional pink coneflowers, but beginning in the second growing season, the second layer of shorter petals appear. This coneflower has a long bloom period from late spring to late summer, and it prefers a slightly cooler climate. Closely resembling a traditional purple coneflower in nearly every way except size, Kim's Knee High is the smallest of coneflower varieties. It is a good choice for small gardens, or wherever a more compact variety is called for. The clear pink flowers bloom from June to August. Bravado resembles a traditional wild coneflower on steroids. It is a robust plant that grows to fully 4 feet in height with large 4 to 5 inch wide blooms that range in color from light pink to magenta rose. Unlike native varieties, Bravado holds its petals more outright, rather than curving downward. It has the typical summer long bloom period, from June through August. Fragrant Angel is part of the Prairie Pillar series from Terra Nova Nurseries in Oregon. This new variety is considerably improved over early white forms, with large white daisy-like flowers with a striking golden-orange central cone, and petals that stand out horizontally rather than curving downward. This is quite a tall plant, and it blooms throughout the summer. This is another of the Big Sky series produced by Crossing E. Purpurea and E. Paradoxa. This variety has deep golden yellow petals with large, striking orange cones. Like others in this series, Harvest Moon has a good tolerance for heat and humidity, and it blooms through the entire summer period. The gently drooping petals and prominent cones of Daydream will remind you of the native form of Echinacea blooms, but Daydream delivers more flowers on highly branching and compact plants. This variety produces soft yellow flowers that bloom earlier than other varieties, beginning as early as May and continuing the show for five months. 
Mango Meadowbright has been around since 2004 but remains a favorite due to its unique shade of orange tangerine blooms. This variety is one of the earliest blooming coneflowers, producing its unusual 3-inch wide flower in mid-summer through mid-fall. Unusual for coneflowers, Mango Meadowbright has a spicy orange aroma. Pixie Meadowbright represents one of the best dwarf varieties. It produces traditional-looking purple flowers in dense masses that are quite unusual for most coneflower varieties. Like the other Meadowbright varieties, this one was developed at the Chicago Botanical Garden. It has the typical summer-long bloom season found in most coneflowers. The Double Scoop series of Echinacea is a response to consumer demand for lush, double-petaled flowers. In addition to the clear red blooms of Double Scoop Cranberry, gardeners can purchase bubblegum, orangeberry, and raspberry variations on the Double Scoop coneflowers, all featuring a mop of petals surrounded by flaring petals. Flowers begin blooming in July and continue into September. The glowing shuttlecock blooms of Firebird appeal to gardeners who love the cones of Echinacea as much as they do the petals. It was developed in Oregon as part of the Bird series in 2009. One of the best features of this butterfly magnet is the non-fading color of the brilliant flowers. Firebird blooms profusely from midsummer through fall. This 2009 introduction from Oregon has bicolor yellow and orange petals combined with deep red cones, making it a garden designer's dream. Pair this early bloomer with the crimson and gold summer punch coreopsis or your favorite burgundy hookera variety. Flame Thrower has the typical long bloom season, midsummer through fall. If you have not discovered the green flower craze, Greenline Coneflowers are a great introduction to this versatile bloom color. A stand of Greenline adds textural interest to the sunny border, but these chartreuse beauties really shine when planted alongside magenta or hot pink flowers. Dutch have provided so many new flower introductions, and this garden exclamation point, hot papaya, from breeder Ari Blom, is no exception. Newly opened flowers start off with a brilliant gold hue, which transition to tropical flame orange. The flowers shine among other bright yellow and red flowers, but also stand out when combined with cool blue flowers. Hot papaya blooms from early to midsummer. As one of the members of Terra Nova's Prairie Pillars series, Lalani coneflowers exhibit strong stems that perform well as cut flowers on vigorous plants that shrug off the harsh summer heat. The plants bear bright yellow flowers from July through October with occasional deadheading. Available as seeds to populate your large garden, Pow Wow Wild Berry will bloom just 20 weeks after sowing. The 2010 All-America Selection winner continues to pump out new buds, even if you fail to deadhead faded blooms. This is a more compact plant, and one with a preference for a slightly cooler climate than most coneflowers. It blooms from June to August in most locations. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.